Hey guys, I'm Rosa Vane, and welcome back to another part of this honored. So in the last part, we basically traveled around the whole uh, area, just looking for treasure values or valued treasures or whichever you like to call it. I know it was kind of like a waste of a time or a waste of an episode. Attention, I mean, we barely got anything wall. done. The old port district has been added to the evacuation list. The, man the Weeper count yes, for the month very much of so, but no need has to fear. increased. He is the Lord Regent has decreed that people plague say he killed the Empress. Will of course he did. People are foolish range. and believe stay whatever they're told. And stay loyal. Okay. If the Admiral trusts him, then so will I. I like how she walks up to me. Oh, no, no, maybe that's Cecilia. You know, I didn't even see Cecilia. She was blocked by the one guy. <laughs> and I like how Cecilia is like, yeah, I'll, I'll trust them if that's the case. And I'm like, um, I'm just standing right here and Lydia's just looking at me. I thought it was Lydia talking to her um, for a second, but it wasn't at all. All right, here's my bed. Here we go. Let's go to sleep. Yes. I like how it's called somewhere else. Okay. Oh, there's a wall. Ha. Huh. Yeah, so this is the interesting tidbit that I never thought would exist, which is the way to get the abilities that you get. I forget if this was like difficult to me. I remember it was being difficult. Like this part of the mission. Hello, Corvo. Or... Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that we can call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power. My gift to you. Come find me. So there's there's an interesting tidbit that I don't understand. Ah. Oh yeah. <laughs> the fallen letter. Okay, I didn't see that. But anyways, yeah. So, like, I don't understand why he chose us in general. Like, it's kind of weird sometimes. I don't know why I'm, I'm... I'm running and, like, trying to, like... Oh, wow. What? She considers me dead? Really? Oh, it's the two brothers. Okay, I need to go and save Emily for sure eventually. Is there something in the back of this? Yeah, I realize that there's some stuff that are like weird sometimes. Like, is this random as hell? So we now know that the, uh, the situation that Emily's in, technically. Ah. Press unbound. What's a. Uh, <laughs> Apparently, there's no controls for freaking using mana potion. <laughs> Where. What? Did I. Oh, I didn't put. I didn't tag it in. Um. Damn it. I'm. It might have been T, and that's why it changed. Maybe G? I mean, R and G is like pretty. Like, R and the letter G is like pretty close by to each other, so... Alright, well... Yep. So this... The butler guy is, like, trying to throw everything out of order, it seems. Okay, so there's a few guys. So we're kind of seeing the mark of his plan, and we're kind of seeing everything. And this guy, like, this... This sorceress is what I'm gonna call the guy. Um, is choosing to give us all the information we need. I like how this random rock just showed out of like showed up out of nowhere. Jesus, dude. 
Oh yeah, those things are ridiculous. I don't like these things. I mean, the only reason why they'll show up is when you kill more people and they become much more like threatening about it. But if you sneak around and not kill anybody at all, technically they don't show up. Because I remember doing that. Like I remember killing a bunch of people just because these just because of that, these guys showed up more often and I just hated the fact that they showed up more often. Um but yeah, I, I don't know how far I got into the game. I think I got up to the point where I revisited one of the areas, the one of the main areas to the game. So that's it, at most. Ooh, that was close. I messed up a little bit there. It's fine. Oh. In the days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Trial? Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To sure. help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, <laughs> living my thing. Hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Got it. Listen to the heart now, and find another room. Oh! But let me get this. I have to press, okay, with the right button, but let me... This place is the end of all things, and the beginning. God damn it, it scares me. <laughs> all of time is meaningless here. Neither seconds, nor centuries. Which is kind of cool because of the fact that, uh... Oh, okay, my ability's right there. Let me see what's on top of here. You may never know, you know? You got, like, other random ass stuff that comes up. So I can't... Like... I can't see the runes unless I have the heart out. Okay. Someday this place will devour all the lights in the sky. You know what this place reminds me of? Since it says there's no, there's no like time involvement or anything, it reminds me of like Dragon Ball Z, where like Goku goes into like a space and time where everything is like, uh, like time is is, is kind of like non-essential or something. Or was it Dragon Ball Z? I think Dragon Ball Z was one of them. There was another anime I think it was that had that kind of thing that was going on. Uh, what was it? And it took like time, like it's slow down time to train themselves. Ah, oh, damn it, can't remember. What is in here anyways? Oh. Oh, okay, so it's... Okay. I guess it still wants me to go through here anyways. Oh, I have to go down anyways. I think I messed up. I don't know if there was anything up there that I would have wanted. I don't know. Ah, there it is. So his runes look like those kind of things. Yeah, I know, I know. Alright, here we go. Alrighty. Yeah, I know. I got that. Runes can be collected and used to con to acquire supernatural abilities. And some of them do kind of upgrade the abilities, I think. Oh yeah, we can do possession. But it costs three runes. Damn it! And then vitality, which is increased health. Yeah, I may need that. See in the dark and see living beings through walls, including the fields of vision. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely need this then. Yeah, I want to see if they're actually looking at me or not. And then what's the next one? See in the dark. No, I want to see what the hell this is. Through the walls, including the fields of vision. In representation of sounds that you are, that you make are also visible. See useful objects. Ah. Yeah, this is most likely useful for everything that I need to uh, sort of see stuff. What? Why is it? Okay, whatever. 
How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. Okay. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Look, I'm starting to get more interested in playing more because because I didn't realize because I I used to play this without caring about what I got in terms of like what they were for, like the purpose, the general purpose of the game. I always played Dishonored coming into it thinking about how do I kill these people or what kind of abilities I can use because it gave me the freedom. Oh, the mark is still with us, yeah. Not a dream, Corval. Optional, the rune. Use the heart to find any runes nearby. Hey, they gave us more stuff. Oh, there's swarm charms. Cool. Got two new bone charms, it seems. Granny Rags. Of course, I'll tell you, dear dearie. I won't keep any secrets from you in the end. Oh, yeah, because we'll meet we'll meet Granny eventually. Granny Rags. I'm gonna go do this slowly, but pause and read, of course. Mm, don't forget about the bedroom either. It sees you into it sees into a dreary alley where hooligans are playing a game with an old man. Oh, this is like uh, it, it's it's foreshadowing what we were gonna see later. Because I know, I, I do know of this lady. Sorry, I, I went overboard a little bit. I do know of this lady. But I don't, I don't know if it's exactly foreshadowing what we'll see in her place. But it's, it's definitely her place. Because I know that you can actually, like, talk to her. And she does have a rune. I forget if, if uh, in order to get a rune from her, I think you have to kill her. And it's like, you have to... But it's going to be very, like, impactful to your chaos levels, which is bad. It's a very, very, like, thing. It's a very, like, troublesome thing, I think. All right, let's see what we can equip here. Gutter Feast. White rats can be consumed for mana. Whoa! Okay. Power effects slightly improved. White rats won't attack you. I'll take that first. Um, sure, I'll equip all of them. I have five, so when it becomes difficult is when I, when it becomes like very shared, I guess. Slackjaw. You want to cha chinwag on Slackjaw? What he will he what he what he was like when he was young before he got this name? Oh, he's got a cool head right now, but it wasn't. Weren't always like that in the days before he was boss of the. Okay, let me, let me slowly get through down. Sorry, I'm I'm screwing up everything because I'm reading it too now, because these are like clues and hints to help you fight in the next like level in this coming upcoming level. And I'm sorry if I'm silent, too. Um, uh, heading straight for Slackjaw. When they came together in the street, Slackjaw spins and the shark hooks bite deep into Mike's arm and shoulder. So Slackjaw actually has a shark-like hook. A few weeks later, four of the bosses were dead. Seems like a series of misfortunate or unfortunate events, but... Everyone knew better. One shot dead by which by the watch while standing in the middle of a meat market. Another slipping and falling into the water out cold. One of the older bosses found in bed with a belly wa open wide and Tyvian pear stuffed into his mouth. Still not sure what that meant. And she Sheila Barnsworth was found bubbling in a cauldron of cauldron o hot wax. Jesus Christ, and it's not only that, it's a lady too. The lady died to a freaking wax. 
So that means she was taking a shower and then boom, the uh, freaking wax. So Slackjaw is the one who's organizing all the the uh, target's head. Like he's the one who sort of kills people. <clears throat> then the plague came. At first it seemed like a good thing. A few people got sick and everyone wanted to buy those potions from Slackjaw. Suklov and or uh, Piero, Piero. Health elixirs or spiritual remedy they call them. Slackjaw told me he saw an opportunity. We already had an old whiskey factory with a still. When the Empress died, it seemed like Dunwald would slide into the void. Spymaster Burroughs took over in the watch. Started using all that new Sokolov technology. Oh, Sokolov became more of a criminal now or an enemy now. I see. Alright, let's go see what the new bone charms we picked up here. Shot whiskey bottles explode with greater intensity. Uh, damage from explosions reduced slightly. I'll take that. Wins sword versus sword contest more frequently. And eh, no. The other, f those four are fine. The other four. Alright, got it. Sounds like the heart wants me to, s to look for stuff. Somewhere in the basement below, Hound kills Hound. And money changes hands. Yeah, see, I remember there was a... Like, see, if I was able to search that area more and more often... Alright, I saw some copper wire over here, so I was like, okay. I forgot if they recharge the blue. Yeah, it does. Okay. Ah, there you are. Nah, cancel. Yeah, I want to cancel it just in case. I don't think I can. It's. I don't think I can extend my reach yet. There we go. Rune bone charm. I know. I got it. Uh no, this. Oh, there it is. I didn't see it over there pretty far it's pretty far away i know we play our way i got it i mean literally that's the reason why i like it so far you get to play it your own way oh, there's another bone charm over there all right gotta gotta teleport back i was gonna i was gonna use dota 2 terminology for no reason at all i'm like um <laughs> i wonder if the dark vision should have like provided like, Dark Vision should have provided, like, ways of, like, seeing. Like, Dark Vision should have provided ways of seeing if there's gold or not in, like, per certain areas, I think. No! Oh, I'm dead. Gotta get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. Oh! Okay, I was scared <laughs> because I knew. There we go. It was just too far off of reach a little bit. Alright, cool. Alright, let's see. What can we use powers for now? We can power up vitality, or we can save it for the next set of things, like possession. Bending time would be great, actually. Bending time, possession would be great. Devouring S Swarm actually has a bad thing to it, because I think Devouring Swarm actually... Uh, what does it call it? I think that Devouring Swarm sort of causes chaos levels to go up more. Bending Time, Possession, Blink, and Dark Vision don't actually does don't actually allow those kind of things to happen. Yeah, let's go and get the other bone trun. Why is there more bone truns upstairs? I wonder. All right, I believe we have to talk to Admiral. Yeah, we gotta talk to Havelock first before we can actually continue looking. Well. Let's get down to it. Yep. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. Of course. Sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Depends. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, <laughs> I Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. Yeah. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal. 
because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. I mean, additionally, I Another found out we, we know where Cameron's Emily's at. She's just being held by two Mark. twin brothers, and that's it. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the house. Who? I, I freaking missed out on that because he didn't tell me exactly. He didn't, like, tell me exactly where at. Um, it might be in my room. Yeah, I think it might be in the, up in our room again. Let's go. Let's go climb the stairs again. Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The old port district has been added to the evacuation list. The weeper count for the month of seeds has increased. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinances will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal. So basically the weepers are like those people who are like fully like fully uh, infected by the thing, by the plague. Oh, they were in my room all this time? I didn't know that. Wait, no, they were just newly added. Wasn't it? Okay, so Dodd. For over a year now, I have lived from the Abbey, lived away from the Abbey, Abbey, without the company of my overseer brethren. My beard has grown long, and I wear the weathered clothing and bits of boiled leather favored by the Bottle Street and Hutter Hatter gangs. My goal is singular. I must impress the assassin named Dodd in order to get him close, get to, to get close to him. Of all the practitioners of black magic, we have tracked none concerned the Abbey as much as Dot. Is Dot the guy we worked with, or the guy who talked to me earlier? I don't know. The early stories tell of a gang killer without mercy, moving among the shopkeepers and city watchers, officers of Dunwall like a reaper through the wheat. Interesting. Very interesting. New reports emerged of a dusky skins assassin paid by the elite to eliminate their rivals in Dunwall and in the other major cities across the Isles. <clears throat> okay. Only a month ago, one young girl claimed to have come upon a strange scene, carrying a bottle of milk home to her crippled brother. She was taking a shortcut through the Taylor's district. In a narrow street, she passed beneath a window and heard unusual sounds like from within. Pushing aside the ratty curtain, the girl saw into an abandoned apartment used by miscreants for gambling and trading Haberweed, an occult shrine has been erected. <laughs> so it is, yeah, Dot is the guy who was who was in our in our dreams last last that we saw him. <clears throat> Let's pick up all that. The Royal Spy. Damn, there's so much things to read. I mean I mean I'm not hating this. I mean it kinda gives us the gist of what we're going into soon, very, very soon right now. Pause and read, of course. I'm not going to read this one in particular. Oh, this is the backstory between uh, Emily. Uh, hmm. So Sokolov doesn't have any interest in security. Interesting. So he doesn't have any technology to protect himself, but he does have a lot of security or a lot of like technology to sort of impose to others. Like it, it's an offensive sort of like type of thing. Take that. I'll take that. Wait, is it an artifact? Wait, what does the artifact do? Um, no, 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 no. Any more bones or runes to be had? No more. Got it. All right. Uh, journal. Keep me in the runes as usual. Uh, good lungs. Breath capacity are increased. Moderate keyhole peeping. Mo ma magnification. I'll take that for sure. Why do I have H bone charms activated? What? How did it increase? Breaking glass sounds is moderately reduced. Sure. Drop assassination gives you a bit of health. No. Swim speed is increased slightly. Quick dodge miss more often with arrows and bolts. Yes! Oh, that's good! That's all good! Yes. Thank gosh. 
I guess that payment of upgrading my uh, my my uh, bone charm inclusion helps a lot. I think. Coin. Not much coins to be honest. Is there anything in here? Oh. Whoa. What the? What the hell? What is this? Trials of Aptitude. Is this Dodd's like secret little location? Okay. I'm very confused about this. The Fuge Feast. There's so much reading. Like, I, I don't hate the reading. It's just so much to get into that you have to like take the time to read. Like, I'm not saying that I don't want to read it. It's just I don't have... I don't want to have where the whole video is about reading. Because, uh, I mean, I enjoy the fact that they're trying to get you into the story or into the idea of what you're doing here. But, like, literally, there's going to be time consumption of, like, what people are going to do. Elementary sums. Oh. History of the Isles. Geography of the Isles. The Seven Strictures. Litany of the White Cliff. Sayings of the Overseer. One day we'll get a few new books. One day I'm gonna climb up this tower, I think. Because I do remember this tower actually is climbable. It's a climbable tower. It's just a matter of like how I'm gonna get up there. Alright, pause and read this one, of course. Thank god there's no more scrolling. There's so much scrolling involved in the other ones that I freaking saw. And those dolls look a little creepy. Slightly. Right. I think we should be good. Yeah, because if I wanna climb this thing, I have to like go through this. Yeah, and I and if I fall down, I die. Oh, never mind. I climbed over the thing. Okay, screw it. Uh, let's get out of here. I know there's gonna be. A, I, I'm pretty sure some people were like, "Oh, you're gonna miss out on a lot." And I'm like, "Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just can't do it because there's too much going on." No. Ow, Jesus, that was bad. I wish I had the regeneration one. Health regeneration. When you want to set out, just give the word. I know. I'm trying to see if I'm regenerating health slowly for no reason just at all. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the overseer's nest. I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. Sure, I guess. I'm guessing he did that for a good reason. Like, it's a design choice that he's telling. Oh, I, I oh, missed out. A Hello. <clears throat> I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's yeah. really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. No! Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. To protect? Oh, that's why. That's why they're telling me to go back so I can, like, do that, do that kind of thing where I get the mission opportunity, I think. Yeah, that's the main reason why they sent me back in here. Yeah, because I missed out on it because I went an alternative route. Out. What can I do for you? Piero, uh... Actually, before you... No, 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 not, 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 not now, but let me do... Let me see... I see some key and... There we go. <laughs> now what it's What can on. I do for you? I need that key so I can go to some certain places. Do you have any upgrades? I have... What the hell? How did I get 2,550? What? And the... <laughs> Okay, I guess I will take whatever it is. Total is six. Wait, what? I'm confused. Okay, I fully upgraded that. I have 1600. Let's buy three rooms. Oh no, I only can buy one. Okay, that's whatever. That's fine. What, are, what other upgrades do I have? You know what? Let's go for range. 
and accuracy. Um, yeah, let's go for optics as well. I think these upgrades are more important than anything, I think. The ammos and stuff will come in to handy whenever they can. This kills people, this restores mana. Mm, sure. Okay. Yeah, I got one extra room. I can bend time or I can get dark vision too, which is basically good to see through walls. But I want this because yeah, that would give me a longer distance. Because I want to bend time to sort of like... But then this would become very like... <clears throat> oh, this is to slow time. Okay. Ugh. I should have got the vision one. Damn it. Kind of regret my decision here a little bit. Oh, there's another audio player now. There's a different one. Part of the soul live in the heart. I overheard the Admiral at breakfast, talking about the Overseers. That's all I heard. And I think it's better if I don't want too much about what you people are doing. Electricity, but what does that mean for any essence trapped within? It'd be easier if I created these processes. He's my uncle, and he means a lot to me. His name is Jeff Kerner. Captain Jeff Kerner. Okay. Yeah, because she kept speaking over him. I'm like, shut the hell up. Let this man speak in his audio log. God damn it, you. You bastard. Stop speaking over him. At least the subtitles will provide help for anybody Ready who needs to go. it. Just yeah, so let's... Signal. Yeah, let's go. So let's head out, and then uh, I will end the episode when I head out over there. I know not a lot... Again, a not, not a lot has happened. I hate this. Like, I keep doing this to myself, where I'm just like, I'm not spending time enough... Heading out, in general. It'll be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. That's fine. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Eesh. Everything not controlled by the city watch is gang territory. Wow. Then there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that granny rags. Yeah, I need they to visit her. Nuts. Eh, doesn't matter. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. That's fine. Alrighty. Let me grab a grub before I go out. Because I know I'm like not at full health. Alright, cool. Those dragonflies look a little creepy. Uh, is there anything around here that I want to search for before we get into the fights? Or get into the sneaking and stealthing here? In this area, generally, that is. I can bend time, it seems. Weird. Alright. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys haven't. Hope to see you guys in the next part or another video of mine. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can night or whenever you're watching this. I think I made a mistake by saving it in the one save area. But thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys haven't. Hope to see you guys in the next part or another video of mine. And hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can night or whenever you're watching this. Uh, in the next part, we will go out of our own way to just sort of like uh, deal with this madness that it is uh, for this level. I don't know exactly what's going to happen in this level. Uh, it may vary. It may change. Um, I might have accidentally killed people because I was getting desperate to escape, but I just can't escape because this one guy is like getting in my nerves or something. Um, but in general, that's the only thing I was probably going to uh, worry about in this whole like game in general. Is just like getting to that desperate moment where I have to like kill so I can just get away from these guys. But I hope I don't come down to that moment of doing that throughout this whole game. But other than that, uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I don't. I don't wish to take more time from you guys from like just doing, just reading or like talking to people in the whole like hounds pit. But it was because it was forced on me that I just didn't know that it took that much time just to do something. Um, 
but yeah, hopefully there's more action coming into this next few episodes because I know this whole level is going to be a lot more stealthing and it's going to be harder for me because stealthing takes time and I'm not that kind of guy. I am patient, but it's just I'm not that kind of guy when it comes down to camera work because I'm like, I'm recording. I don't want to take too much time for myself to uh, be on the camera and like do all that stealthing because I know I'm going to fail hard if I don't be very, very careful in general. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and that will be it for me in this part in general. Uh, don't know when the next episode will be up, uh, because I might be on breaks very soon, so keep that in mind, that the episode might end, the series might take a pause from this point on outward, uh, this point on outwards, depending on how it goes. So, other than that, Ross, out.